Good morning, and welcome to this James with Jesus on Monday, February 14th. So, I guess one word of explanation, when I go live, um, Facebook will send a notification that University Lutheran is now broadcasting live, so I usually give a minute or two to um, have people be able to gather. But I discovered that somebody likes this check-in, and they only saw my empty chair, so I thought, well, nothing must be going on, so they didn't stick around. So. Um, Appreciate all of you being here this morning. The reading I selected is from Psalm, verse, um, the 94th Psalm, beginning at the 12th verse, going through the 19th verse. Those you instruct are the fortunate ones, Yahweh, because you teach them from your law to give them tranquility in times of trouble until a pitfall is dug for the treacherous. Yahweh will not abandon the faithful and will not desert those who belong to the covenant. The tribunal of justice will restore equity, and all who are upright in heart will follow it. I said, who will take my side against the corrupt? Who will stand by me against the violent? If Yahweh had not helped me, I would have gone quickly to the land of silence. I said, I am falling, but your constant love, Yahweh, upheld me. When I am anxious and worried, you comfort me and bring me joy. So the afternoon temperatures have been about 30 degrees warmer than the morning temperature. So there's been a little bit of, uh, I've been able to get out in the garden and do some landscaping and whatnot. And this little bird, I think it's either a, a, an Eastern Peewee or something. There's, there's two different birds that, that look similar and I'm not sure which is it. But I noticed it because as I disturbed the, the, the soil, it would obviously must have, uh, uh, uncovered some some small very small insects and this bird would fly down and at first it was about six feet away from me and I was just observing it and then it would get closer and then it came over and sat on my shovel or the handle of my shovel and so we're like 18 inches from each other just I was just observing it as it was having its head cocked and I couldn't tell whether it was looking down at the ground or listening I don't know if birds I presume they have ears because they they call to one another and they would fly down, pick up a little bug, eat it, and then fly back up on the shovel. And it was just so wonderful to have this little bird that's, that's truly in the wild, um, not be afraid of me, and just by doing patient observation, not scare it off. Um, and so we kind of gardened together for a little while. Um, out in the landscape now, the daffodils are really popping, or starting to, at least the early ones. The Lenten roses are now in their full glory. And one of the things I set out to do five years ago with the property, I said I'd love it if I had something in bloom all season long. And then I thought I'd love it if the gardens looked a little bit like Monet's gardens, which is a stretch, but nevertheless, to have just a wide variety of colors. And then as I've gotten into more native plants, I've thought about, well, how, uh, when something dies, or if there's a, a vacancy in, uh, you know, how can I fill it with some native plants that'll support the insect and birds, et cetera. So gardening landscaping is one of my joys. Um, and I'm not sure for you what in times of trouble or times of distress, uh, what you do um, for peace and tranquility and joy. But without a doubt, being out in the yard, being in the dirt, there's even scientific studies that microbes in the dirt help lower blood pressure, I think, and whatnot. So, um, so this day on Monday, I hope you find moments where you can experience joy, whether that's the beauty of nature, whether that's a music that you enjoy, uh, friendships, what it, whatever it is. So let us pray. Gracious God, thank you for this new day. Thank you for the beauty of your creation all around us. Uh, thank you for those moments to be interacting with the natural world. We pray for the country of Ukraine this day and pray that um, even in the face of what appears imminent war, that that can be um, averted, uh, especially for all those who are innocent, uh, for those who are um, having to take orders from those that um, might not have their best interest or don't have their best interest at heart. Help us in our own 
situations here closer to home in our own communities and our families to be makers of peace and as Paul wrote um, wherever it is possible for us to live peaceably with one another shelter those who are cold this day provide food for those who are hungry and we give you thanks for the response for our Super Bowl offering yesterday be with us this day and we ask and pray this in Jesus name amen don't know if you could hear the woodpecker in the background uh, with the sound traveling that distance it's either got a good echo chamber or it might be one of the larger pileated woodpeckers because we have some of those in the neighborhood but um, God's peace be with you bye bye <laughs>